Did you did you butt heads a lot with uh, Alan Miles or the studio? Did you have to like fight for things, or were they usually it was they were always on your side? I always got the sense that you were sort of in rhythm with them, not 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 <laughs> arguing, but I always got the sense that you were in rhythm with them. Well, so what I learned as a human with Miles and Al, um, Miles and Al got me comfortable with confrontation, which I previously had never been comfortable with. Mostly I was in harmony with them and I mostly wanted to execute their vision. And, you know, if I could, could make their vision, you know, bigger and better, uh, but we would periodically butt heads because they were, they would, they would not be happy a lot. You know, I'd get phone calls where they were looking at dailies and were just not happy with something that had happened. And I, I really wore all that. Like anytime they weren't happy, I was, it made me miserable for days and days on end. That was a lot of the and Lex scenes, right? <laughs> a lot of the Lex yeah, scenes. Yeah, I, I was just, we're looking at Rosenbaum's performance and <laughs> what the fuck? No, but they're perfectionists no. and they wanted everything to be great and their jobs are on the line. So they're probably going through a lot at the same time and they're trying to say, no, this is what we want. And you're you're taking all the, the brunt of the uh, the shit. Well, and, and like you they said, had, they're, they they're had, not there. You know, they're watching. They had super things, high standards and, you know. and I was... You know, I took on the assignment of of making sure that their standards were met, right? So whenever they weren't happy, I I heard about it and I and I then I would be just I would just be miserable for but I so sometimes we would fight or sometimes I would fight back or you know, and then they'd fight back with me. And there was a couple of times where I was like, Well, I guess I'm fired. Um, <laughs> You're really, now now I'm now I'm fired. You really thought they the were next, gonna fire you. Oh, we had a couple of pretty gnarly phone calls that were way beyond my level of comfort. And, and then afterwards it was like, they were totally fine. Like it would be the next day and like, Al would be laughing about it. And I, I realized like, Oh, these guys can fight about something that they're passionate about. And I can take my position and fight back and we're all good. It changed my life because I, I literally got comfortable. Wow. But looking back, was that a discussion or was it just a fight? Paging Dr. Freud. It, it was no, me I'm defending like why what they wanted was unreasonable. <laughs> you know, that's you know what it is. <laughs> like, that, that That's like a hockey fight. Two guys fight on the ice and afterwards it's over. They can go have a beer together. But it was a new that was a whole new thing for me. And it was great. I mean, it really was great. And and I'm going to also say that after I left Smallville after five season five and I went to work on I've had this conversation with those two guys, too, like. I went and worked with lots of other showrunners. I came back to those guys and said, like, I, now I appreciate you guys because I really appreciated what they were great at, which is very uncommon. I've had showrunners who are just absentee landlords, and that's a nightmare. And I've had showrunners who are like micromanagers, and that's a nightmare. And those guys, like once they trusted you, just let they they were great delegators. I've never worked with guys who were as as good at delegating once they trusted somebody. And so they really let me have a lot of freedom as regards production. 